Uh, all right, so uh, this tape we're going to be watching, Dan, is called uh, Nintendo 64 Change the System. This tape came out in 1996 and is like the first promotional tape in the United States that was sent out to hype everybody up uh, for the arrival of the next generation of Nintendo console, the Nintendo 64, <laughs> 64-bit system. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that we're going from the earlier, like, 80s, 90s, uh, play it loud sort of aesthetic into the change the system aesthetic, which is a little more, uh, kind of like that early, like, very early Y2K kind of aesthetic. Um, uh, you 2000, baby. Yeah. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and, uh, check this out. On June 23rd, 1996, N64 was released in Japan. And thanks for never the same. Nothing less than phenomenal. Within hours, over 500,000 systems cleared the shelves. Over 500,000? Over half a million. Whoa! Ah, epilepsy. Yeah, you would never like. I don't. I don't think that you would get away with the flashing lights so much nowadays. <laughs> oh, totally not. Graphics, On controllers, 20th, it has it all. N64 is scheduled for release in North America. The system is about to change, but before change does, the system, baby. Fight the man. In the country to put it to the test. This is N64. Oh, it's a car. So some of the people in this video that you'll see, they have appeared in other Nintendo promotional material before this. Uh, David Giselle, Quick Finger, Martial Arts and Sports. <laughs> Brian O'Rourke, Extended Play, Action Adventure Expert. <laughs> Part-time Soda Jerk, Steve Greaves. Kami Unbeatable. Face, <laughs> A bit beatable, but Bob said so. Good evening, gentlemen. You've been expected. Down here in our wa warehouse, warehouse office. It. We're going to see the Shadows of the Empire. Star the Fox. driving force in the next generation of video games. With 64-bit technology, you're a witness to moves and graphics that no other system can match. Got graphics. Graphic <laughs> it's got controllers. Anti-aliasing for crisp graphics. It's got games. Well, not really. <laughs> but it's got a few games. It's got a few. He's got a few things worth playing. Four controller points. Welcome. C button. I will say that was one thing that they that that Nintendo had. Uh, the the four player multiplayer was definitely something. Like just out of the box, this definitely way. a big, this way we big go draw that way. to the console, like for for players. Yo, what is this? Yo, what's got in the dark in here? Oh, hey guys, Word. how you doing? So I understand you're yep, here to find Ken. out about the Nintendo 64. Ken Bob. Nintendo 64. 147 oh, states. It happens to be the world's first 64-bit hardware. Now I could go on and on about all the technical stuff. But I think it's easier for me to explain that as I show you the game. Hello. So let me jump into the game. Is that Mar is that the Super in Mario? Field outside of a big <laughs> castle. Now if I take the control stick and I just move it a Mario little bit. Mario jumps here. You notice that Mario starts to tiptoe. Move <gasps> a little bit farther, Mario starts this kind of slow walk. Crank it and he goes full out sprint. Whip it in circles. Full 360 degree control. 360. Go. Now I'm going to cruise up into this castle because that's where most of the levels are. Go little man, go. <laughs> go, little man, go. Excuse you have, little man. Tell me how the grass tastes, little man. <laughs> oh! Oh! Mario does a layout double backflip. Awesome. I, like, run along, I guess this was mind-blowing at the time. Mario I mean, jumps a mile. this was like one of the first oh, actual, like, I can true get Mario to do things climbing trees. I can get Mario like to do that. things by hanging on ledges. Mm -hmm. like if anything, Mario had too many moves. Yo, you see the way he went to that door? No kidding. See that smash cut he does? Oh, 
camera, right? <laughs> the camera. Look at him swim. Come out a completely different level. Look at that skybox. Control stick is cool. It actually allows full 360 degree control. Yes, that's what control sticks do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna cruise along here and jump into this picture. Oops. <laughs> hey, how did <laughs> you do that? Scrub. Actually, it was pretty hard. We had a bunch of R&D guys with busted heads. <laughs> <laughs> Please laugh. Cool because... Please clap. <laughs> swimming levels in the game, there's snow levels, there's other stuff. This level actually involves swimming as well as kind of some traditional platform stuff. However, now it's all happening in a 3D world. That's awesome. <laughs> That's we, awesome. Live, we live in a 3D oh, yeah. world, and now Mario does too. I like I like the clear sound bite. Cut out. Cut out. Well, you're three dimensional. Soon he'll come out of your TV. There's one other cool area I'd like to show you in the game before we move on to the other products, and that's Bowser. Ugliest Bowser, ugliest version of Bowser. I never like N64 Bowser just doesn't look good at all. <laughs> He's got a really bad receding hairline. Oh, I'm gonna have to censor that out. <laughs> <laughs> now keep an eye on uh, on this video to see if you see any like beta footage that never actually is in the game. I'm not sure if there is any. I was gonna ask you if there was like anything, but I guess but I haven't seen anything that stood up to me so far. Nah, uh, I know in the um, some of the early promotional tapes, uh, including one of the anyway, ones I, I watched with Bonnie, the they showed Zelda 64, 64 and all the footage is just like beta footage that doesn't you. exist in the I game. <laughs> oh, I spilled pilot wings all over the floor. I had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, uh, growing up as a kid. Crash course in Techno Babble 101. It's time to talk fun. Williams, Nintendo Product Evaluator. Plays video games for No, you don't. Do with Stop lying. Airplanes. You've got hang gliders, you've got rocket packs, and you've got gyrocopters. It's the most unique flight simming game you've ever played in your life. When you're playing the game, you feel like that you're actually in the game. For example, in this hang glider level, there's going to be some range really you got to fly. Really feel like a pilot part. wing. Now you got to be sure that you're making yourself steer really steady because the mountains are in close. Okay. Now when you go through all the rings, make sure that you pull the joystick down to swoop your plane upward. Swoop just like that, just like that. When you're going in for the landing, you want to use your A button, or commonly known as the blue button. Use it to slow down speed. Did you ever play Pilot Wing 64? Come in for the landing. I did not. I want to. Yeah, this is unreal. I, I thought it was a fun game. It's not really like, you know, a reason to buy the N64. But if you had one and you could get it, like, why, like, why not? <laughs> Actually, I think it's better than the Super Nintendo version. I, re I, I, I read about it secondhand, actually, in a cheat's guide. Sort of like some, you know, hearing about some interesting things you could do, like uh, turning Mario's head into Wario and vice versa with a cannon, or uh, overall the Birdman mode that was just free. <laughs> Whatever. I, uh, I, I recall the first N64 games I played when, uh, wore, um, Mario 64, you think you're actually good at this Mischief game? Makers, and <laughs> Pilot. Try Wings. this. Try getting mm -hmm. this silver or gold. I have Mario Kart 64 and Diddy Kong Racing. Your way up into some new hidden yeah, the, the like N64, the like state. most of the N64's One thing library really cool is racing games. About the cannonball. Is that you can use the R button to change your camera angle, and that way you get a true feeling of, of yourself being in a real-time 3D environment. It really feels like you're shooting Mario. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorites. In this area, uh -huh. the object is to jump across the USA. Now you want to use your analog joystick once again to make sure that you Then they the came out with pilot wings on the 3DS and jump nobody bought it. <laughs> here, and then you go around the bend and kind of find the best way to get to the actual goal post. <laughs> 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 it's on the water, you idiot. <laughs> you still got one more game to play. Shadows of the Empire. Oh boy. Uh, this stream is now copyright Disney. <laughs> oh, 
well, hopefully the VHS distortion is Star enough Wars of the to make it uh, uh, fair use. Henry Sturchy. He also plays pretty against for a living. Can we? Yes, I'll uh, cut to the chase and get right to the game, which is my favorite part. One of the really unique things about Star Wars is that there are several different game types in this game, so, actually. So, Shadows Empire of the Empire the is world. not a, a very board, great game, <laughs> but it it did kind of actually help catapult the old expanded universe you because bike, um, like a big bike the it, it was, it, it was popular cool enough, really and it was like you had the Shadows of the Empire multimedia campaign with the book and the, uh, like the other sorts of material... Um, uh, at the time. It was sort of like Shadows of the Empire was almost like the Clone Wars of, of that era. Uh, in this, and so a lot of people's first introduction to Star Wars expanded universe material came from this game and kind of looking up other, like, oh, there's, there's, there's actually a book called Shadows of the Empire. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, there's other Star Wars books. You know, so like Shadows of the Empire, while it's not a very good game, I like it. You can actually fly um, around and wrap uh, them up with a tow hitch. And you can circle it, uh, them just like it has an important place in Star Wars up. history. Love that part. Even like that sequence right there, like a lot of how Rogue Squ the Rogue Squadron games did their hot, like their, the world their is stuff. In real is, 3D, so I can know, look around and go anywhere I want. Sh but how I can Shadows of the Empire did it. And shoot up at enemies that are high, low. I can strafe and run and shoot in different directions. You're out there, Henry. I can jump over objects. I can actually duck and fire. I like the code that so lets you play as a wombo, though. That's the best code. I can code. get different <laughs> weapons to find the flamethrower to kill these, these big ice monsters. Oh, man. Okay, this is the flying over the starter. This starter. one, you know, this game. Zoom in I played it once, and it was... In every level, there's I couldn't really get into it, but... uh. I hear a lot of high opinions about it. Like, people love this game, honestly. Yeah, it, it's it's Here not really like the Fighters, best Star Wars Astros game, but it's something of a cult classic. And, and, I, and I would definitely play it over oh. Super Star Wars any day. <laughs> any day. I always kind of prefer the Factor Five games myself here uh, that that were released. Yeah, well, the fact yeah, the Rogue Squadron and Rogue Squad like Re Rogue Squadron Two, like Rebel Strike, it, those games are. Are, Here's the swoop bike level. They take a lot of the same the ideas and they inside do them the better. town. Mm -hmm. I, guess. I can zoom out. And then you have episode one game. racer. That was a like yeah, everybody. Uh, that and was a big them. cult hit. Stop them too. From to loot. Yeah, I have that. I really like how fast this level moves. It's it's, it's pretty overwhelming at first when you're inside the narrow oh, man. Uh, confines of the town. Oh, you this is overwhelming. You don't want to play up zero or extreme G. And you have to do the jumps and go through the canyon. Oh, extreme hey. G. Here, I can go anywhere I want and look at things. I can um, search the walls and stuff and find hidden items. Uh, a certain lady uh, friend of mine who was uh, looking to have a N64 game for the series she's doing. Uh, I did think about well, this one, Star Wars giving her this one to play, Whoa, but I gave her an, uh, Resident, Evil, uh, Resident Evil 2 There's on the N64. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> Kirby, there oh, it is. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, didn't quite hit, I didn't quite hit N64. Gonna have to wait a while for that one. Who's in USA? So, yeah, if you need a race, we got your fix. Oh, Goldeneye. Damn it, John. Gotta find a generation. Yeah, I can kill people in 3D. There, now you can just go around killing everyone for no reason, with no purpose in life. Our body harvest. Yes. Oh, that's, yeah, that's beta footage of uh, Wave Racer, I think. Super Mario Kart R. Is this the footage that has Kamen in it? There's, there's, Last core. There's old Mario, 60, Mario Kart 64 footage where it shows playable cam, uh, Kamen. And I don't quite remember. Recognize those levels from that, Star Fox 64. Yeah, that's, that's definitely beta. Hockey. <laughs> so it's one of 50 N64 games in the building. Rules. On September 29th, N64 will be released in limited quantities. You know the date, you know the system, you know what to do, you don't want to wait. <laughs> okay, I'll buy it. No. Change the system. Change the system. 
So what's your opinion on the N64, like generally speaking? Like, I would I would argue that the N64 is Nintendo's weakest console. It was certainly a low, I think. I think after the relative success of, you know, the NES and the SNES, you know, especially back in the NES days, you know, where Nintendo had a stranglehold on the market and they could, they could apparently do no wrong with Mario and everything. And the SNES, where they had some competition with Sega Genesis, but they still seem to be well regarded. When N64 hit, it seems like, you know, the the general opinion of Nintendo was pretty much at a, at a low point. You know, it seemed like, you know, you know, PlayStation was the new shiny thing, had all the games there. You still want more? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Pre-rendered graphics here on the Nintendo Ultra 64. They probably should have put a little effort into getting that disc system out, like, and, and manufactured in high quantities and just, like, getting, like, like stuff for it, like, really, uh, like, off the ground.